open or on? Oak Bluff, Alabama. Wow. What, uh, what color are we looking at? The Scum Blue Ribbon. Woo! Yeah, that's black. Nice. Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 NSRA Street Rod Nationals in Louisville, Kentucky, and Big O Garage debuted a 42 Chevrolet, unlike you've never seen before. This is one cool truck. It had the whole show talking. It's got a Holcomb interior. The stance is awesome. I think y'all are going to love it. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Big Oak back in the house, right, baby? That's right. That's Man, right. dude, you all rocked another one. Tell me about it. Well, it's a 1942 Chevrolet pickup we built for a guy named uh, Wayne Matthews, uh, kind of a local guy to our area. Uh, wanted a 42 Chevrolet truck and um, something that he had been trying to accomplish for several years and finally got it in our hands and was able to finish it for him. Because the truck's been in the family for a while, right? A long time, yeah. I think uh, 17, 18 years, something like that. Man. Well, tell me, obviously, this is not what it looked like back in 40-something. What's What have you done to it? Well, first off, it's on a Art Marson chassis. That's where we started. And we we pretty well customized everything. <laughs> I mean, that's just custom fenders, custom running boards. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so we we took the grill and just kind of tweaked it, and actually just kind of refined it. Right. And we built a piece of trim that that went around the front to hide the gap between the um, the grill and the fender, which is something they didn't have from the factory. Uh, moving on to the headlights. The buckets are basically stock, but the turn signals are up on top of the buckets. All of that's machined billet aluminum. Just kind of with an Art Deco feel with the whole truck. The front fenders are mostly stock. The hood top, we, we pretty well made, made the hood top, both sides. Uh, the hood sides are completely handmade. We hammered the louvers in it and everything. We made new door skins. We didn't really like the, the crown in the door skins and we actually modified the cowl as well. So you, the, the hood side, the cowl and the door all have one line. So we, we actually widened the cowl a little bit so you didn't get that dip in the uh, cowl. When yeah, you look down it, you got a nice straight line. Right. It's in the details, man. Because that's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that had to be a ton of work to just you know, for what? For something that you have to know what you're looking at to even go, man, this thing looks good. That's right, that's right. Man, I like what you did with this one, Steve. Thank you, Scotty, I appreciate it. It's different, you know, and, and you think high-end interior, you think all leather, but I love the way that you put that material in there. Yeah, it was, uh, I called Will, actually Will picked out a few uh, colors, and uh, I liked it, and it looked good, but then it was like, and when we got the car, I was like, man, this truck, or the truck, I was like, man, this truck is so different. I said, I want to do something different, you know, something cool in it. So uh, I called Will. I said, Will, do you care if I change this? And he said, do whatever you want. Yeah. He said, I just want it to look cool. And I thought, okay. So, you know, uh, he built a really cool truck. It was different. So I was like, hey, we're going to step out of the box a little bit and do something right. a little bit different in this. So we started out, if you notice in the seats, it's got like a diamond pleat in the back of it. And it rolls up to a, uh, a pleated seat, you know, that rolls right. over the front and the back. So, it's, you know, it's just a cool little touch, something different. Um, you got to step out of the box sometimes. Sure. We put black carpet in it and then a black and brown cloth, you know, in yeah. part of the seat and then a door panel to bring it all in together. And well, see, and I brown. think I was even commenting, not just the use of the cloth, which I thought was really classic and mm. cool, but even the pattern on the cloth yeah. fit the build perfect, you yeah. know? So, yeah, y'all nailed it, you know? I appreciate it. We have to do, I mean, you know, we could have played it safe, put brown carpet, brown leather, and then been done, you know, pleated yeah. seat, and it'd have been just like, all the rest of the interiors you get on a little 30 or 40 model cars or trucks, you know, and it wouldn't have been bad, right? but it wouldn't have been, you know, something different, you know, and he's got a different truck and they needed something different. Sure did. What about the headliner? Headliner was a cloth uh, material that we put in it. It's a, we went, obviously didn't, we didn't go with the check it stuff, right. but we did in the center part of it, in the center of the door. So, you right. know, that it, it blended in with the, with the rest of the car, you know, you wouldn't want that pattern over the whole thing, no. but just enough of it to, you know, really blend it all together. I don't know the last time you used something material like that. I'm thinking back to the uh, 
uh, Goldman in Palo yeah. kind of reminds me yeah, of the cloud pulled, material. Right, you pulled that off in mm -hmm. this, and when I saw it, I was like, man, dude. And uh, everybody in Louisville agrees. It was <laughs> it was exact the right move for this truck. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I was tickled. And then it had you know the Dakota digital gauges in it. Looks really nice. And uh, yeah, they it fit nice all. Yeah. Stuff, so. All of it, all of it fit together really, really nice. Truck was really cool. The bed was really cool. The interior. So I'm like, man, I've got to do something that really, you know, complements the rest of the truck. Did yeah. you have to do anything to the dash? No, we didn't do anything to the dash. He already had all that done. Now we did make a drop panel to go underneath the dash to hide wires, et cetera, stuff, like, you know, like we normally do. But we didn't really make what you call a drop panel. We made a panel that that went from the firewall up to underneath the dash to hit all the wires and stuff. So cool. Well, again, y'all rocked another one. Hey, Scotty, I appreciate it. And then moving on to the bed, everything on the bed is completely custom made. Um, the stake pockets, the bed sides, the rear fenders. We made the rear fenders. Um, the factory rear fenders are just kind of danky looking. They just, they don't look like they belong on that truck. Um, so we actually made the rear fenders to look more like the front fenders. Uh, they have the overall same shape. The wheel openings are real similar. So it just it just really completes the package. It flows a lot better. It flows yeah, a lot it's better. It's a lot smoother. And like, right. you didn't lose the cool of the truck, but yet you can tell there's something different about this one. It, exactly. Right. My, my favorite comment to hear at a car show is, you know, I don't really care for those, but I like this one. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. that makes that makes our man the wheel choice, and I love the blue and the black. Yep. You know, and then steel magnolia. What kind of wood is that, right? That's steel <laughs> magnolia in the bed, because that's all paint. It's folks. all paint. If you if paint. you can believe this is paint you're looking at, not wood, but paint. Yep. And I like how you recessed it below the aluminum, so it looks like it's like set down in that's there. That's right. We kind of want it to look somewhat factory but not right which is the design of the whole truck it was a kind of an art deco -y hot rod feel uh, the bumpers um, are actually a 1940 car bumper that that we reshape to match you know the the contour of the front and the contour of the back the wheels are um, the wheels came from shot called the magnitude um, we took it and made um, custom center caps and and, and to give it kind of a knockoff look, an old Halderbrin look. You nailed it, dude. I appreciate you it. Absolutely nailed it. You know, like I said, I kept seeing pictures of this and you kept, what do you think, what do you think? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the next pictures. Well, I keep thinking, you know? And even you had Holcomb do the interior. And Man, I, I, can't, I can't thank that guy enough, you know. What powers this thing? You know, it started life as a uh, Ramjet 350, just a crate motor from, from General Motors. I'm not a big fan of the way the ramjets look, so uh, you know I talked to Wayne and I'm like, hey, I know you want this thing fuel injected, um, but the ramjet just don't really go with kind of what we're trying to do here. And uh, he's like, well, what do you got in mind? I was like, well, you know, there's a guy in California, uh, Dave Ulrich, uh, that'll do um, a tri-power setup that's fuel injected, and he was like, man, that sounds great. So it's a uh, you know what looks like carburetors but it's not right uh, all efi small block chevrolet with a tremec uh, tko 600 transmission all hooked to um, a bryce thomas radiator i know you can't see it uh, yeah. it's it's kind of buried down in there deep but you know like i said uh, all of our we use Bryce Thomas on everything. Well, that's because so. they keep cool, cool. That's right. But man, Big Oak rocked it. If uh, people are interested in following your builds, which I'm sure they will be, what's the best way to do that? Uh, Facebook, just this Big Oak Garage. Uh, Instagram's Big Oak Garage. Twitter's The Big Oak Garage. BigOakGarage.com or go to Scotty D TV and look at the very top of the website. Just click right there. We keep a link right there because we know we want to send people to where the cool is That's at. right. Will, you know, I, I just love seeing stuff when y'all bring it out, and I appreciate y'all giving me the time that you do. Anything for you, Scotty. Thank you, brother. So there you go from the 2018 NSRA Street Ride Nationals, Louisville, Kentucky. The latest build from Big Oak Garage, a 1942 Chevrolet street truck. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.